Hey, this is Adam. Does your character have user controlled head motion? Let's set up a cool little black eye rig called the look around. Okay, drop a black eye camera in the scene, rename it because you're not a monster. We're going to click follow, click the character, and we're going to follow the root bone. And then we're going to click look at, click the character, and we're going to look at the head bone. If your character is already in the scene, just look at it. But if you're spawning it in, set auto assign to the player ID and then turn on look at and follow. Set this up to a character that's in the scene and then you can hide it. Super cool features. This one, save and play. It saves all your changes. Game changer. All right, here's the juice right here. Select the look at. See the offset? It's in local space. Set that to a number down Y. That's the orientation of the head bone. Now you're looking at a spot that's 80 units down from the head bone. This nice weight, this damping, you can follow very loosely. You can recompose where you're following. See this? We're going to like move the composition of where we would like the follow subject to be a little higher or lower in the frame. You still get that nice weight to it. Okay, let's move that back down a little bit, get it more centered. And let's play with the damping. So you've got per axis damping. So here we're going to go zero. You can see very brittle, just hard pinned. But you can also decouple the vertical from the horizontal, the pitch and the yaw. So we're going to go with more horizontally and less vertically. And look at this. The camera's going to more lazily follow left to right because of the screen ratio, of course. And then it's going to be more aggressively following up and down. Pretty cool. That nice weight. We spent so long getting that math right. And the camera will follow with weight and damping the sense of mass. Dead zones. So you can create a dead zone and all the motion inside it will be disregarded. This is too big. Just make an example. And as soon as the target goes outside the dead zone, then the damping kicks in. Let's make this a little smaller so it's a bit more appropriate. Dead zones are adjustable for their horizontal and vertical size. And with those handful of controls, you can get so much behavior. Thank you for watching. So, sneak peek, we've got a pretty cool free look orbit third person camera system coming.